The Ghana Standards Authority Act, which has been approved by Parliament and awaiting presidential assent, is critical for ensuring standards and adherence to standards and facilitating trade. It provides a clear and unambiguous framework for the application of sanctions for defaulters. It protects our borders against substandard imported products, which are under the purview of the Ghana Standards Authority, and ensures that local manufacturing is competitive conforms to the best applicable standards anywhere in the world and can access global markets in order to improve our competitiveness, the profits of those companies, as well as our ability to create jobs. In line with the African continental free trade area, this new bill is modern and in line with World Trade Organization regulations and requirements. It's in line with all the requirements under Appendix 6 of the AFCFTA Treaty. And these are the ones which deal with the so-called technical barriers to trade, which are really mandatory or compulsory standards. Under the AFCFTA, countries do no longer have to pay tariffs or duties for certain products. When that happens, the only thing countries assess and evaluate before allowing products into their territories will be standards and adherence to those standards. So by passing this bill, Parliament and the government of Ghana, under the leadership of the president, is sending a clear signal that we are hosting the AFCFTA secretariat. We have modern laws for modern trading and that goods made in Ghana will be the most competitive on the continent and they can compete with any other world quality products within the African continent and beyond. So this is great. Good news for Ghana. Good news for trade. Good news for business. Good news for protecting health, safety and the environment. And above all, good news for ensuring that our businesses will thrive. Obviously, the GSE, in collaboration with regulators, the Food and Drugs Authority, the National Petroleum Authority, the National Communications Authority, the EPA, will be working closely in enforcing the requirements of the bill, which also clearly separates what agencies do and prevents duplication of efforts and the so-called tariff wars which existed in the past.